Good afternoon, Tigers, and welcome to Tiger Vision News for Monday, January 9th. I'm Casey, and this is my co-host, Sierra. Thanks for joining us today. Today, we're going to start off our show by making a visit to the band hall to learn about some of our own very special band students. These students worked extra hard last six weeks, and they were selected outstanding band students of the third six weeks. Here's more on the story. Hi, I'm Brenna here with... Mrs. Bearden. How do students earn the honor of being chosen out standing band students. Each six weeks we try to watch their progress on their instrument and we compare all of the students in one section on one instrument to each other and we pick the student that has maybe um, done really great on their practice assignments, um, played well on their tests, and is just a really overall good student in the class. Okay and how many students are chosen at each six weeks? We have 11 or 12 different instruments in the band, and so we try to feature one person on each instrument section. Um, we have flute, clarinet, saxophone, our double reed and low reed section, French horns, trumpets, trombones, baritones, tubas, and percussion. Okay, thank you. I'm here with Chike. What's the most exciting thing about being chosen outstanding band student of the six weeks? Having the ability to show people what I can do on the saxophone. What do you enjoy most about being in band? Just being able to play an instrument. What instrument do you play? Saxophone. Thank you. Hi, I'm Kara here with Ethan. What's the most exciting thing about being chosen outstanding band member of the six weeks? It lets people know that you want to help them and you can show them what to do. What's your favorite thing about band? Um, being with my friends and playing my instrument. What instrument do you play? Trumpet. Cool, thank you. Here's a look at the other students that are the six weeks outstanding band students. Congratulations, students. Here's a look at a few events this week that you'll want to make note of. FCA will have its first meeting of the semester tomorrow morning. The meeting will take place at 7 a.m. in our library. FCA is a great place for everyone to talk about life and what's going on in it. Be sure and be there, and remember to bring a friend. Now for an Important piece of information for Ms. Duncan. She would like all students to know that the Robotics Club will, meet, will now meet every Tuesday afternoon, immediately after school, in room 307. If you'd like to learn how to program robots, this is the place for you. The weekly meetings of the Robotics Club will start tomorrow afternoon. Now back to the news. Popcorn Wednesday will be during Tiger Time on Wednesday. Be sure you bring some extra change so you can get some of the goodies that the PTA will have for sale. The chess club will also meet Wednesday. The meeting will take place after school in Mr. M's room. Don't be late. And remember that Mrs. Schulte will have the Counselor's Corner store open after school on Friday. Well, that's all the announcements we have today. Let's check in with Mr. Rido and see what's in our weather forecast. Hey guys, I'm Greg, here with your weather. Your current conditions is 40 degrees outside Winds north 9 miles an hour and 30% chance of rain. And your five day forecast is going to be all through your 50s and sunny outside. Greg, with your weather, back to you. Thanks, Rhino. Now let's take a look at sports. Hello, FMS sports fans. I'm Holden, and this is Kanan. And here's a look at day sports. After coming off a successful outing against the Cavazos Cavaliers, all the members of both our girls' and boys' basketball teams are ready to hit the hardwood and face their next opponents. They'll get to do that this afternoon when they play the Irons Cougars. Here's more. Hi, I'm Juliet here with Coach D. Berry. Tell us about the basketball game. Um, tonight we play Irons at Irons. Um, seventh grade A plays at five, and eighth grade B plays at five, and then the other two teams will follow. When are the girls? What are the girls' teams' records? Um, the eighth grade girls are undefeated, so they've had a really good year so far, and hopefully they can finish it that way. The seventh grade teams have struggled just a little bit, um, but the A team is two and three, and the B team is six and two. What are you looking for out of our team? I just hope that 
they'll compete and no matter what the scoreboard says that they'll give it their all and just to make sure that we're getting better every game. Thank you. Hi, I'm Juliet here with Hannah, Sydney. What are you looking forward to most about today's games? Winning and beating irons. What did you do to prepare for the game? Run and practice a lot. Run a lot. <laughs> what are your favorite thing about the season so far? Just getting to hang out with my friends and stuff. Learning how to play and winning. Thank you. Hi, I'm Juliet here with Mary Beth. What are you looking forward to most about today's games? Um, working really hard because this is going to be a hard game. What do you do to prepare for your games? Um, when we're practicing, we shoot a lot and we condition a lot so we can be the best that we can be. What's your favorite thing about the season so far? Um, I really like just all the games, hanging out with the girls, but mainly playing with them. Thank you. Good luck, girls. The guys will also play the Cougars this evening. However, their games will be played here at FMS. The 7th A and 8th B teams will play at 5, while the 7th B and 8th A teams will tip off at 6. Make plans to come out and watch our guys destroy the Cougars. Let's look at today's sports. Back to you. Well, that's all the announcements we have today. Thanks for watching, Tiger Vision News. Everyone have a great afternoon. We'll see you tomorrow. Until then, Tigers. Bye! Bye.